everybody, it's Sandy, and I'm going to do a paint for tonight um, in this great little wooden um, box here. I'm going to use it to like hold my keys, uh, or someone could use it to hold jewelry, that type of thing as well. Uh, but it's wooden. Uh, I got it for uh, a very reasonable price at the craft store. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a base coat of white. That I've already mixed up with some Floetrol and some water here to get it to the consistency that I want. I'm not really going to worry about the top edges or the outside right now. I will come back and paint that at a later time once this all dries. And I just poured off some of my excess white paint and go back through this. And I just want that to be pretty even, so. So the theme of this is going to be under the sea and I've got some great colors mixed up here, some metallic blue, some sand color, orange, yellow, uh, bimini blue, uh, some red some color shift green, and then this great uh, Caribbean blue. And I'm going to use just a little one ounce condiment container to make my dirty pour. Actually, I'm going to start with a little bit of white. And you'll notice I'm going to end up using more of some colors than I am of others. Simply because it's ocean under the sea, so I'm probably going to use more blues. Just a few little drops of white
and none of my colors have any silicone in them. Partly because I just now realized I forgot to put them in. put just a few more drops of white. Awesome. How pretty is that cup? All right. So I am going to actually do a flip cup in here and see what I can accomplish. looking pretty awesome already. How pretty is that cup? I love all of my cups after a dirty pour. They always turn out so pretty. Ooh, look at that. Some of that yellow is really starting to come out. I want to bring it back towards the center see if I can get some of these cells to survive. Alright. Torch this here just a bit. Oh yeah. Alright. Awesome. I've got a lot of little cells in there. I'm very happy, very excited with this. And now I just can't wait for it to dry. 
Uh, once it's dry, I will touch up the top here with one of these colors that really didn't shine through that much. Um, probably either my red or my yellow. And then I will do the bottom and sides in either a sand or um, a watercolor. So, uh, you know, as in like a blue or something like that. And I think it'll turn out really fun. As always, thanks for watching. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And uh, you can also follow me on Facebook under hashtag IamSocialSandy or hashtag PaintPouringSandy. Thanks. Have a great night.